early fouls, but ended up not committing a single foul in the second half, a total of 26 points. What enabled you to adjust really, really quickly and even be even more aggressive and productive in the, the second half? Yeah, I mean, uh, I just try to stay aggressive. I had three fouls, unfortunately, I think the first uh, five minutes. Um, the coach did a good job of scouting. Um, I, f I feel like they was clogging the lane. Uh, they know I can get past my man, so I had to figure out uh, how to drive without charging. When I first got back in the game, I was still thinking too much going to the basket. But it's a different league. They call it different. I just have to adjust. I just try to stay focused and keep being aggressive. How big of a factor were your teammates in helping you adjust and come up with a big game tonight? My teammates was great. My coaches was great. Um, I didn't shoot well tonight. Um, I'm free throws, even on my jumpers, but I just try to stay aggressive. Um, I'm an all-around player, so I know I can get my teammates involved, try to get them some shots, rebound, and play defense. You know, um, it's not all about scoring, and I know that, so I just try to bring other things when my shot not falls. Thanks, Earl. Coach Adonis, with all the changes that your team is going through, ano mo yung masasabi mo sa focus and sa performance na pinakita ng mga players? First of all, uh, I just want to thank the management uh, for the full support na uh, binigay sa akin and for the whole team. Yung players kasi napakahirap nga eh, dahil yung changes, maraming, maraming pagbabago, mahirap para sa akin. At the same time, to the, to the players, to the whole team. Pero medyo nagulat ako sa sa nilaro nila ngayon uh, everybody step up everybody played well especially in the defense kahit nagka problema si Earl on the foul meron naman kaming adjustment medyo nag uh, kami para ma-avoid yung foul trouble ni Justin and ni Earl Coach, during the off season you were preparing for this uh, conference for the season with Coach Yang and now for your first game with on the other side of the bench. Was there added pressure na nagsataon ka? Coach Yen, nakatapas ngayong gabi? Pero nga, galing nga ng PBA. Kami agad siyang tinapas. <laughs> anyway, uh, Siyempre, yung pressure nandun eh. Medyo isang linggo, dalawang linggo na yata ako dinakatulog. Mabigat. Dahil, pero thankful pa rin ako sa management na yung tiwala na, na binigay sa akin to handle this team. Pero the important thing is yung player kasi. Maganda yung suporta ng management na kinausap sila nung nawala si coach. After three days, medyo tumaas yung moral. Then, ang mahirap yung, yung hindi ko alam kung ano yung gagawin ko nung first week. Kasi hindi ko alam kung tatanggalin ko yung sistema ni coach, may dadating ba. Pero ang ginawa ko lang, uh, usap kami ng mga coaches na sabi ko, dahan-dahanin natin. Dandahanin natin tanggalin yung sistema pero wag bigla para hindi ma ano yung team. Now we open the floor to questions from the media. Anyone? May konte kasi yung <laughs> For the past six years, siyempre, yung, yung, yung philosophy ni Coach, yung kanyang uh, discarte, defense or offense, medyo meron kaming, meron kaming uh, parang medyo madaling mag-discount na konti. Pero konti lang. Pero marami na nang binago si Coach eh. Dami niya nang binago sa sistema. I love playing defense. Uh, it takes a lot of heart to play defense, and uh, I think it's a key to winning. You know, um, some nights you can't control if the ball not going in, but you can control the defense, your effort, and try to help your team win. So uh, any way I could try to help my team teammates win, either it's points, rebounds, or blocks, or steals, I'm, I'm here to do the job. Earl, earlier this year you played in Puerto Rico, and uh, Korea, and you Uh, it's different leagues, um, different teams, different role. Every uh, league and team is different, got different schemes. Uh, the coaches want you to play a different way. Um, all leagues was great. Uh, I had fun playing in them. They were competitive, and uh, it was just an experience that I treasure.